our next talk is from Dr. Mustafa Hussain from Bangladesh Agricultural University, and he will be talking to us about the inclusion of micronutrient-rich small fish in aquaculture and culture-based fisheries. Thank you very much. I would like to thank Naka and all my colleagues to give me the opportunity to present from Bangladesh side. So the title is Inclusion of Micronutrient-Rich Small Fish in Aquaculture and Culture-Based Fisheries. Uh, you know, Bangladesh has a unique position in the subtropical region within the Great Delta of three major rivers, the Ganges, Brumhaputra, and the Meghna, covering an area of 14.3 million hectares. The country is endowed with the vast expanse of inland open waters, rivers, ponds, canals, lakes, freshwater marshes, estuaries, brackishwater impoundments, and floodplains. The vast wetland wide river feed system, enough rainfall and warm temperature play a significant role in the fisheries and aquaculture sector of the country. In Bangladesh, fish contribute 60% of total animal protein and annual fish consumption 23 kg per person. Small scale aquaculture plays key role in production enhancement and fish consumption and income by the poor. Nearly 11% of total 160 million people employed in the sector in hatcheries, nurseries, grow out and wider value chain. So this is the, according to DOP 2020, our uh, fishery resource and fish production. So capture fishery is about 1.2 million ton. Culture is huge, 2.48 million ton. Marine fishery is 0.659 million ton. So total is 4.384 million ton. And regarding culture-based fisheries, the resource for culture-based fisheries are bills and then floodplains, Kaptai Lake, seasonal floodplain, and Baul, that means Oxbow Lake in the Jesu region. So according to APO fishery statistics, Bangladesh is Aquaculture production, we now stand in fifth position after China, India, Indonesia, and Vietnam. And the total fish production from aquaculture is around 2.4 million tons. In the farm fishes, we have some large species like Indian major carps and then some featherbacks and snakeheads. And then we also, among the exotic species, we have tilapia and then Mekong pangas and then a lot of Chinese carps and European carps and then anabas and also. So if you consider these are the large fish, these are the large fish. So these, these are the small fish micro And recently, uh, about I think last three, four years, smaller has been introduced in our culture system. And this is eel. And then the featherback is smaller one. And then some minor carps, butter catfish, this two are the sting catfish and walking catfish. And we have some bagged catfish. So what is this small indigenous species? This is very important from the Bangladeshi point of view. A small indigenous species of fish grow to a maximum length of 25 centimeters, about 10 inches. They can multiply rapidly in any fresh water and also in captivity. Unlike large Indian major carps and exotic carps, they can, they can multiply in the captive, captivity. And among nearly 300 freshwater species in Bangladesh, more than half can be considered as small indigenous species. So why these are important? These fish are full of protein, uh, high vitamin A, calcium, zinc, minerals, and iron and they prevent malnutrition in the rural poor and they help in bone formation, cure night blindness and prevent anemia. So these are the small indigenous species of rich heritage and meet diverse food habits of Bangladeshi people. Many small indigenous species have high nutritional value as I said earlier. Satisfy all ages and genders, poor and rich. They grow quickly and can easily be introduced in culture with research. They are self recruit so the farmers do not need to invest money every year to purchase seed. And they're important for today and for future generations. So th th this is a table, this is a very famous table for Bangladesh. 
Uh, if we see the small fish, these are the Mola Dhalagarpina Chanda Puticatsi, and you see the large fish. So if you consider the vitamin A and some mineral, you see in Mola, uh, the vitamin A is nearly 2000 microgram per 100 gram uh, uh, edible place. And um, similarly for Dhala Darkina. But if you consider the large species, like even our national fish, Elisa, silver car, they are very, very poor compared to our small species. So three species, this is Amlipharyngodon mola, this is Isomas dandricus, and this is Ostrodon cotio. So last, I think, 30 years when uh, Dr. Shokuntala Thili stayed and her student Nana Ruj started to work with the small indigenous species in Bangladesh in collaboration with Professor Oha and its team, including myself. So these are three, these three species who actually found that these are extremely rich in micronutrient, can be bred in captivity, and can be introduced in culture-based fishery and also in aquaculture. But th th these are two species, Dhala and Mola. These are already been introduced in culture system. And in the market, the Mola we purchase now, about 30 to 40 percent come from the aquaculture. And not only increasing the production, um, World Fish, Department of Fisheries, and a number of universities also took some initiatives to make this available to the little children and elderly people because they, they cannot eat the small fish because of the bone. So we dried them, we made powder, we produced hodgepodge and pickle and some other things. And, and they, these uh, promotion has been going on in Bangladesh. So regarding the wetland, the vast wetland and floodplain covers about half of Bangladesh, nearly 80,000 kilometers square, 55 percent of the total. Large areas remain inundated for up to half of the year. Climate change coupled with man-made causes, damming in the history, infrastructure development, water obstruction, pollution, widespread enforcement, and rampant overfishing are causing alarming loss of aquatic biodiversity and overall production, and hence the vulnerability of floodplain communities increased. The declining open water fisheries have affected the livelihood of millions of poor people in Bangladesh. And the present practice of culture based fisheries, uh, generally, government owned water bodies are leads to the highest bidder and often that goes to the non fisher. Ongoing leasing system is not equitable because powerful lease holders control access. At the leasing arrangements are of short duration. The lease holders always strive to maximize the profit at the expense of ecosystem and species diversity. This malpractice causes serious negative environmental impact with growing inequalities between local elites and poor fishers. The lease holder always stock large car, that means Indian major car, and some equity car and catfish. And they never stock small indigenous species. Although several attempts have been made to transfer fishing rights to poor fisher through community-based management arrangements, influential people always find their way to take the leads using their muscle power and political influence. Now, the small fish, the potential of small fish in culture based fishery, a good number of small fish, including Mola, have already been successfully introduced to the culture system. Over the last few years, Mola has been stocked in the bales, house, and large borrow pits of the northern, northern districts of Nilphamari, Rangpur and Dinajpur, in the center of my district, my Mansi, in the east of Sunamgun, in the Howard area, and also in the south, in the Kokokali region. The production is found about 1 to 1.5 metric ton per hectare mola, plus 2 to 2.5 ton other small species and large species. All the micronutrient is small fish like mola, dhala, darkina, tanga, sing, um, tarabine, papda, have high potential to be disseminated countrywide. CPA in culture based fisheries. Mola and Dhala seeds, artificial natural bread, are available in some hatcheries and farms. So, when I was talking about the culture based fisheries, these two things, so this, this is captured, these are the potential resource for culture based fisheries. Bill, Kaptai Lake, Kaptai Lake is the largest man made lake in Bangladesh, and we have used that. The area now under culture with fishery is the seasonal floodplain and Oxbow Lake in the, in the, in the Jesuit region. So, but, but if you see the production, the production is, is very, very low. In the capture, it's less than 1 tons per hectare. Cup the lake is very, very low. And also in floodplain, only 292 uh, uh, kg per hectare. In the culture, 
that seasonal plant play in an oxbow lakes and that community based um, and a culture based fisheries the production is a bit better but not as our aquaculture production now in bangladesh aquaculture production in in, in ponds is about about 5 tons per hectare but this is only 1.5 tons and 1.8 so this is the culture based fisheries and now if this can be doubled this part actually in the what we are doing now it's only 1.5 ton 1.8 ton but even if that can be doubled to 3 metric ton per hectare the present production from culture based fisheries can reach to 0.5 million metric ton and these water bodies that are not under culture it's only captured fisheries there if this can be even a 50% increase or rise in the production can increase the total fish production of bangladesh to an additional point uh, 5 million ton so in conclusion sustaining the culture based fisheries is of immense importance in our pension of the food and nutritional security of the poor and middle class of the society even at a very slow rate and facing a number of bottlenecks as i said earlier because and there are lots of different problems from different corners the culture based fisheries of bangladesh will continue to grow and will be included in national projects and programs uh, government of bangladesh with, with its department of fisheries the largest umbrella organization of bangladesh under the uh, minister of fisheries and livestock they actually um, control everything they take the projects and uh, after like three decades of untiring efforts of the researchers now uh, department of fisheries took some initiatives to include and incorporate uh, small fishes in their in their program and they are uh, they are doing this both in um, culture fisheries and capture fishery that means culture fishery alone as well uh, but the link between community participation culture fisheries need to be clearly defined still uh, although we have some culture based fisheries but the people supposed to get the benefit from culture based fisheries they are not getting it so we we have to do something regarding the policy so how the food and nutritional benefit and other benefits can go to the uh, poor fisher and poor people of the rural area and sufficient attention to be given to the access and poverty issues in culture based fisheries maintaining the sustainable production and stocking micro and large small fish should be promoted through means that maximize production and profitability we found through the several uh, experimental i mean research and other thing that even we we introduce some micro and large small fish in the aquaculture and culture based fisheries production doesn't decrease that much uh, having said that nowadays the all the small fish are very very expensive and their price are getting higher and uh, large species like silver carp even indian major carp say pangasius they are they are very very cheap in, in, in regarding the price and also the demand and in bangladesh people like to eat actually they are always look for their search for the small indigenous species they are very fond of those but as the price of those uh, price and demand both are increasing the rural people they don't have access anymore to those small micronutrient species and it's coming to the wherever it's caught and caught by whom it's coming to the market of the dhaka and other large cities and upper middle class and rich people are buying those things so it's getting um, out of the reach of the uh, poor people and also also we have some Uh, lack of training and 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 credit facilities because those poor fisher group they don't have money so that's why they don't get the a lease of the jal mahal or a government or water body it goes to the influential people but if government provide credit and they provide training how to manage sustainably those um, uh, those government on uh, water bodies and jal mahal then that will be really uh, a great benefit for those poor poor fisher and they also need training how to manage sustainably and how to include micro rich, rich small fish in their system and finally linking with ongoing and future global network of countries advance in cp cbf particularly the um, thailand vietnam cambodia india sri lanka 
and stock enhancement and promote collaborative and cons consortium research project and sharing experience and capacity building and resolving the governance and policy issues can immensely help our culture based research in bangladesh thank you very much thank you i would like to acknowledge naka simon all my colleagues from sri lanka and other countries and all the audience to listen to my talk thank you very much